This is the free. This is the the uh, the poster. Jim Caviezel stars in Sound of Freedom based on an incredible true story. It's made by Angel Studios and it's coming out on the 4th of July. Now, the backstory is that Netflix turned it down. Yeah. Disney turned it down. They actually tried to stop it. Now, people are saying that this film is, has been up against so much. It's actually been, I believe, five years in the making or it's been ready yeah, to go right, for five this was, years. This was, Mel Gibson was talking about this back in 2019. I'll just start with the memes. The one on the left is just a standard meme, Sound of Freemasons in theatres now. Oh, yeah, Freemasons, rah, rah, rah. And on, our, on the right-hand side here is the Right Above remix, starring Jimmy Savizel, um, <laughs> the energy <laughs> harvest, <laughs> the Sound of Freemasonry. <laughs> now, everyone's going to be saying that hasn't done their homework. Why are you saying they're Freemasons? Stop jumping to concu- conclusions, Lance. And on the right-hand side, we've got a screenshot from the Templar Times that says Tim Ballard and Sound of Freedom producer Paul Hutchinson are literally Knights of the Templar. <sighs> okay. So it says here on the Priory Mountain House of the Lord, Tim Blaine Ballard and Paul Hutchinson were knighted on the 20th of June 2015, according to this screenshot, which I can't... I- Gosh! Okay. But, let's be fair, you know, we have to look at this objectively. I'm going to play you a video. This is of Tim Ballard giving his thoughts on some of these accusations. Hey guys, it will never cease to amaze me how, how far the godless leftist media will go to run interference for human traffickers. They're throwing everything at me right now. I just saw a, a post that seems to be trending in certain places saying that I am in favor of putting microchips in children so we can track them. It's complete baloney. I've never weighed in on that. I've never said anything. In fact, I'm very much against anything that would allow the government or others to control children. Um, I just found out yesterday that I'm also apparently uh, involved in trafficking. I I run trafficking networks or that I'm some mason uh, involved in strange Masonic practices. It's not going to stop. Expect every lie. At at this point, I have been accused of everything but murder. So I want you just to expect more to come, including probably that I've killed people. Who knows? So exhibit B this is a real photo, and that is really the tie that Tim Ballard wore. And here's a picture of the tie on eBay. It's a Masonic tie, navy red square. So he's wore, he's wearing a Masonic tie for a for a, a photo shoot. Elon Musk wants that once the film is released in theaters everywhere, he wants to stream it on Twitter for everyone who hasn't seen it yet. Imagine several million people watching this movie and getting its message to stand up for children. This isn't for anyone anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. he chose um tim ballard chose this guy i've also done some some research into <coughs> into jimmy Savizel here and he has the same handler he has a very strange name patanek he has the same handler as like lady Gaga and kanye oh, West. come on this bold guy called patanek i can't remember his full name but he's one of those weird hollywood stylist gurus doctors handlers yeah life so, coach yeah so he's yeah, always yeah, yeah. under his control right. he doesn't mention anything about elite people in no no, no again that's what i'm saying it won't say anything on the jeffrey epstein documentary no of course not sorry so, uh you know, cornerstone it, there's no there's no um there's no fingers being pointed towards hollywood here no of course not there's no fingers being pointed towards disney here so this tim ballard guy that the film is based on who has basically helped write the film is named by the u.s department of state as being a co-chair to the advisory council to end human trafficking. Now, the other guy which is heavily, heavily, heavily involved in this film with Tim Ballard is Paul Sidney Hutchinson. He is the co-founder of the Bridge Investment Group with over 48 billion AUM. I'm not sure what AUM means, annual something, something. 2,000 employees, 48 billion. He retired in 2017 to focus his time on philanthropy. Who is Paul Hutchinson? This is from his own website. I'm about to show you a screenshot from his own website. He's a serial entrepreneur of 15 companies, 65 licenses as an investment advisor, founder of Child Liberation Fund, honorary doctorate degree for his humanitarian work. Oh, knighted Sir Paul Hutchinson by the Knights Templar. In 2016. In 2016. So at least we can confirm that Paul Hutchinson is a Knights Templar. Honorary curl to the uh, uh, Attorney General, these this is a big list there's fucking like 33 things on there trained by cia officers navy seals and crab experts honorary colonel uniford police department 
Citizens Academy. Board member of the FBI Citizens Academy. Board member of Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> Is everyone following what we're Gosh. Yeah? I've been at this all week, guys, and I swear if I'd gone on the, if I carried on going, I could have made a whole show out of this. <laughs> so here they are down at the bottom. Trafficking stats, all the sources here. The Polaris product, um, I'll be talking about this in a second. It's basically a whole network of anti-human trafficking and child trafficking, including hotlines to call to report things. So Angel Studios, who's producing the Sound of Freedom movie, is giving you the information how to fight child trafficking, and they're pointing you directly to the National Trafficking Hotline and Polaris Project. You can clearly see that, right? Right. Okay. He also wrote a book in 2000, I think 2010, called The Covenant. One Nation Under God, America's Sacred and Immutable Connection to Ancient Israel. <laughs> so after this book, it was very popular in, with Mormons. He's doing tours all over the country, talking about it. The Covenant. Tim Ballard. Here's, where it, here's another aspect of the story. You're probably not going to hear it from anyone else. I found this little documentary of people that were anti-Mormons that did a dig. Tim Ballard told Associates that an impetus to leave his government job and form Operation Underground Railroad was President Russell Ballard. No relation, apparently. Russell Ballard is the head, the current head of the Mormon church. One of it, he's an apostle. <laughs> he's the great-grandson of Hiram Smith, the 33rd degree Freemason that dug up the gold scrolls that told them that this is the correct version of the Bible, okay? So... He's got this relationship with Elder Ballard, who has blessed his work, so to speak. He has carte blanche on everything. If you stand in his way, you're standing in God's way. And you're standing in the way of 33rd degree Freemasons too. He's got the, out he's got the attitude, if, you, if you're, in, you're against the Mormon church, you're against God. Tim Ballard also has four profit companies. Stoneaway Productions and Slave Stealers. Slave, Slave Stealers LLC. So although Operation Underground Railroad is a non-profit, um, he has other for-profit companies around it which are profitable. So, you know, that's a bit questionable too. Liberty 89 is another one. Salvo LLC. So this guy's like a major businessman. He's got his fingers in a lot fingers of pies. Fingers in a lot of pies. So to summarise Russell Ballard, he's engaged with the SEC determined he was involved in penny, store, penny stock fraud. He had his li broker's licence revoked. He had an auto dealership that failed. He invested in Valley Hall Music Venture, a massive failure. Despite being endorsed by supporters of the church, there was almost a criminal investigation. Ballard continued investing in get-rich-quick, highly speculative penny stock schemes after going to work for the church full-time. This guy's basically like a high-level Freemason, a full-time crook, and the apostle of El... <laughs> and he's backing Tim Ballard. And this Ballard guy is big in Haiti. Proposed $20 million endowment for hospitals in Haiti. He was kicked off fundraising at Banquet headlined by the Mormon apostle Russell Ballard. Um, hounded by creditors, several groups for misrepresentation and fraud. This guy's a high-level crook, and he's literally stood right behind Tim Ballard. In the Jordan Peterson interview, I've got to say that Jimmy, uh, Tim Ballard was talking about organ harvesting, and he was talking about SRA. Right. But... He was saying about it happening in Africa. He was talking about it under a context of voodoo culture in Africa. He wasn't talking about it happening in America. He was talking specifically about the darkest parts of Africa, saying that warlords that are into voodoo and, and, and uh, is it juju and that kind of stuff, they would cut off the t uh, genital, uh, the, the private parts of children and hang them outside their doors for good luck. So he was pointing the finger directly to the third world once again when he was talking about organ harvesting. When this is going on in big western cities and fucking eastern cities everywhere all around the world involved in 6500 arrests you see the, the language here involved in impacted involved in many people are claiming that what operation underground railroad actually does is, is piggyback off government agencies that are doing the bust and just films it those are some of the claims yeah some of the claims are saying that they basically go around to these third world cities and, and don't actually and do anything and try and set up sting operations to, to, to trap people into saying you'll sell me kids and they've actually accused them of, try, of almost creating a market for it and putting kids in danger so there's many accusations about this they put this raid up where Operation Underground Railroad put 16 kids in a house so they supplied the kids they invited some would-be tra uh, traffickers round 
and then uh, some money was exchanged and then the police burst in the door this woman who's a complete civilian said she basically had a gun shoved in her face kids screaming and crying everywhere and all ballard's interested in is getting the shots getting the promo and he's saying it was almost like the kids were used as bait because when you're going in for a human well, trafficking bus, you should expect the kids to be with the traffickers. Yeah. You don't supply the kids. Reports. Here's another one. This Laura Wins woman. Here are pictures of her with Tim Ballard. This is an account from her Facebook. I looked. It certainly looks like this woman's profile. Basically, we went for a couple of weeks, Tim and the team, and the more I realised this was not what I hoped for. This is not about the children. I pulled away immediately. I never looked back. But I'll never forget what my gut told me every single time I was around Tim. I ignored it for too long, but time revealed itself. Tim Ballard is not who people think he is. They're basically saying he's all about the exposure, all about making money for his production company, and all about being a media bot. This is what this woman's saying. Oh my God. The Sound of Freedom's billionaire philanthropist funders. On the left, we have Carlos Slim Shady. On the right, we have John Paul Devarier. I might have said that right. These are the two most rich funders of the movie. So who is Carlos Slim? Carlos Slim, from his website here on the left, there's a picture of him with Bill Clinton. Carlos Slim is one of the richest men in the world. He's actually richer than the Rothschilds. Wow. He is basically the Jacob Rothschild of Mexico. Come on! <laughs> the Clinton Foundation quietly revises Mexican billionaires' donations. So he gives such massive donations to the Clintons, even they have to fudge the figures to try and hide how much influence he has with the Clinton Foundation. Okay. Do I need to go on? Yeah, mate, this is brilliant. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's family foundation quietly updated its list of donors last week, um, significantly reducing the amount that it says has been given by the Mexican telecom tycoon, whose company was recently accused of deceptive US advertising. Hillary Clinton followed Christie to Mexico for a Carlos Slim event in 2014. 2010 press release Br President Bill Clinton Frank Giastra and Carlos Slim launched 20 million dollar fund for small and medium sized enterprises in Haiti so is that the same 20 million that Eldar Ballard was doing that's the same that's program right, yeah. I'm telling you now that is exactly the same Clinton Foundation program in Haiti and they're both giving 20 million dollars that's a coincidence how strange here we go this is WikiLeaks this is a screenshot from the WikiLeaks right so here a tactical question Carlos Slim, Cartel Dynamics. So, someone here that's associated with probably the Clintons or Podestas is literally asking... Is I, mean, I mean, are you going to call it associated if he's, there? he's throwing him 20 million? He's basically associated. This guy is probably more powerful than George Soros. Right, it's better. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> with Sir Evelyn de Rothschild. Here he is, Carlos Slim with Evelyn de Rothschild. Uh, Rothschild's in for slim pickings. Three years after Evelyn Rothschild sold his stake in the family banking firm for 134 million, his glamorous wife, Lynn Forrester, um, blah, 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 blah. By the way, uh, Chapo. Uh, El Ch Let's <laughs> just move straight to the uh, bottom right hand corner. Carlos Slim Foundation, the bit, wait, top right, look, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation. Carlos Slim founders contribute $100 million, Michael. Come on! <laughs> So, $100 million to Bill Gates, $20 million to Hillary Clinton. In Mexico City with Carlos Slim and Mel Gibson. So, there's a picture of Mel Gibson, who's apparently anti-human kid trafficking, with Carlos Slim. He's donut. Slim donut. Slim donut. Slim donut <laughs> is the producer. <laughs> do you remember earlier on, they claimed that somebody else was the producer? Well, it's yeah, not. It's yeah, Slim yeah, Donut. Yeah. What, do you think Slim Donut is letting someone else produce his fucking film? His dad's paid for this. Sound of Freedom producer, Slim Donut. Here we are, Marco Antonio Slim Donut. Um, he's, also, he's also a member of the board of BlackRock. Oh, come on. And he's also a member of the World Economic Forum. If he's he's, the, on he's the, the chairman. If he's he's a, a chairman at the World Economic Forum. He produced the film. This film, let me just repeat. Mate, if he's on the board at BlackRock, he's a dark occultist, this, for sure. This film is produced by someone who is on the board. He's a chairman on the board at BlackRock. And he's a chairman at the World Economic Forum. <laughs> you ever heard of Semex? No, well, I'm surprised. Andy Semtex. Semex teams with Clinton-backed UN Foundation Alliance, 2013. 
This is one a huge, huge construction and cement company all over South America. Carlos Slim heavily invested. Along oh, with, yes, yes, I thought yes. so. Yes, um, mate, I did a whole fucking I half a section on this on Cemex. Update: Child trafficking camp oh. discovered in Arizona is located on Clinton Foundation donor Cemex property. Yeah. Why did Hunter Biden and Hillary Clinton's Mexican cartel partner Carlos Slim fund the Sound of Freedom? Good question. On the right here. On the right here is a picture of Tim Ballard with Craig Sawman Sawyer. He's basically like an ex-forces guy who's a TV personality. And as soon as that story about the Semex child trafficking uh, st- came out, he came on TV and completely rubbished it and buried the story. This Sawman Sawyer guy right here with Tim Ballard. So Tim Ballard is sat next to a TV person, stood next to a TV personality who rubbished the story about the child trafficking camp on Carlos Slim's land. So, 2006, the Adam Walsh Act is signed by George Bush. In 2009, the Clintons partners with Polaris. Mm-hmm. They also started invent- incentivizing adoption and rehoming of children that were abused. Rehoming. They yeah. created a national child registry which CPS had access to. Palantir Technology and Peter Thiel is what runs this network do you remember what dom from sheep farm said about peter, peter thiel, thiel, peter thiel yeah. yeah this is the hi- this is the high level global ai information processing system is it thiel or teal i uh, feel or teal i'm not sure lockheed martin is heavily involved in this operation okay um okay i've got slides right do you remember Ashton Kusher? yeah was, he he spoke out in court allegedly didn't he yeah it's part of the mccain institute yeah um he started something called Thorn, which is backed by tech partners Google and Palantir. This is big data and the military industrial complex muscling in on this. The Polaris project reckon, recognized during 2009 Clinton Global Initiative annual meeting. The international, oh yeah, so then this national center in America for mission and exploited children set up by John Walsh. Now, Hillary Clinton and Tony Blair have created the international version of it clinton and tony blair the international center for missing and exploited children also no doubt using the polaris system this is the highest level wef Soviet union fourth industrial revolution technology this is the this network. is their infrastructure this is their, 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 absolutely yeah operation underground railroad here we are linked with ashton kutcher polaris these these links are absolutely undeniable now Holy shit, back from 2009, a press release shows that the Podesta Group are the PR firm behind the Amber Ready Alert System. Yeah. Do we remember the Amber Ready Alert System? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. Freemason shipping program. Gets all the information, gives it to the Amber Alert System, which is run or at least overlooked by John Podesta. And guess who said it? Ed Rothschild was bigging them up. For it's anyone the fucking that's, whitewash. For anyone that's saying that you're so far out, then you obviously have no idea how controlled opposition works. No idea what. If any of our um, USA companions or anyone else for that matter has watched this movie, then like contact the show. Yeah, we Email wanna... us, get in Facebook, like get in the chat, whatever. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. 